Action. Stand by. How do y'all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers? Y'all remember when I cracked the forearm wood on my SKB 12 gauge shotgun at the California State Championship match earlier this year? Well, after that happened, I went to the fine folks at Mernicle's Holsters to see if they could come up with something to hold the forearm together to get me through the match. That was the first time I met Howlin' Wolf and his family. And the fix they came up with not only got me through the match, but it still lives on my shotgun. And yeah, someday I will get around to fixing that split in the wood. Someday. But back to what we're here to talk about today. Through that experience, a new product was created for Mernicles. This is the new heat shield, and it's currently available in various sizes on Mernicles' website. I was provided some samples in exchange for my review, and I'll have a link down in the description box of this video. If you like what you see here, you can purchase one of your very own. Now, before we go on to the good, the bad, and my opinion of this product, let me take you through the five steps to install the heat shield on a shotgun. The heat shield comes packaged flat with lacing, an introduction letter, the warranty information, and of course, instructions. And installation of the heat shield is pretty simple. Just follow the five easy steps provided on the instruction sheet. Step one, dampen the inside of the leather with a wet sponge. Now, full disclosure here, I just ran mine under the tap. I didn't submerge it, but I got it damp. This seemed the quickest and easiest method for me. Your mileage may vary. Step two, lace the heat shield loosely. Those of you that know me know that I don't follow instructions very well. I actually found it easier to lace the product around the barrel of the shotgun. I simply laid the shotgun down onto the back side of the heat shield and loosely laced it. Okay, so now it's loosely laced in the basic position that we want it. Okay. Step three, slide the heat shield over the barrels to desired position. Simple enough. Step four, crease top of heat shield into the sight grooves using thumbs. Flip it over and this is where we're gonna just with our fingers and thumbs press it into that sight groove. See how my fingernails now scratch that but that should come out. And I caution you to be patient here and use your thumbs. I use the bottom of a spray can to press into the grooves and it put a crease in a little deeper than I actually desired. So have patience. Press with your fingers or your thumbs and work it into the sight groove. Step five, tighten the lace using a flathead screwdriver and be very, very careful and methodical with this step. You don't want to scratch the wood of the shotgun when you're tugging on that lace. Get you a little bit more leverage than your fingers would. Pulling it nice and tight. Again, watching your wood, watching your leather. Snug that up nice and tight. Make sure it's right where you want it. Snug it up. Tie it off good here. Once you have the heat shield nice and snug, let it dry overnight. Oh, yeah. Now for the good. This product is made for cowboy action shooters by cowboy action shooters. Howling Wolf and his family 
are members of the Single Action Shooting Society and actively participate in shooting sports. Not only does this product protect your hands when the barrels on your shotgun get hot, and trust me, they get extremely warm when you're shooting black powder, which may have you wondering why I didn't put the heat shield where my hands would actually grip it on my shotgun. Well, first, because the original one, what became the prototype for this heat shield, was made to cover and support the cracks on the forearm of my SKB. So placement wasn't really an option. Nor was I trying to protect myself from the heat of my barrels, as most of the shotguns I use for cowboy action shooting have large forearm wood, what they refer to as beaver tail forearm. So when I have my hand on the shotgun, I'm gripping the forearm wood and not the hot metal of the barrels. But that doesn't mean that this product doesn't serve a purpose for those of us with beaver tail forearm wood. In fact, what I've found is that these heat shields offer a layer of protection from impact damage to the wood of the shotgun. Hear me out. If you're shooting fast, you're not going to gingerly put your shotgun down on the table and move to the next firearm. It's get rid of it as quickly as possible and move on. And that means potentially slamming the shotgun down once per stage at a cowboy action shooting match. And that's a lot of impact to the wood of that shotgun. So an added benefit to this heat shield is that it adds that extra layer of cushion around the wood of your firearm. Certainly can't hurt, right? Of course, if you have a shotgun like the TTN with its skinny little forearm, then this heat shield lives up to its name and you're going to love this product because it's going to do just what the name implies, shield you from the heat coming off those barrels. The bad. I really tried to come up with something to put here, but well, in my opinion, this is a great product offered by a great family run company. The heat shield does just what it advertises to do, protect you from hot barrels. And again, in my opinion, the heat shield also offers the added benefit of protecting your shotgun as well as looking pretty stylish. I think that about covers the good, the bad, and my opinion. But if you have any questions about this product that I might have missed, leave them down in the comment section. And if I can't answer them, then maybe the folks from Mernicle will jump on and educate us both. And if you like this review, then click that like button. It helps the channel. Then click the link to take you over to Mernicle's website. Of course, before you leave, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. We need to get our subscriber numbers up here on YouTube. I'm Jedi Knight, and I'll see you in some other place in some other time. Now you can head on over to Mernicles and tell them I sent you.